Hey guys, it's Enigma Hood. So today I want to talk about the possibility of God creating the universe because he was bored. This often comes, you know, this is like an argument that uh, apologists use uh, to try and help uh, explain why on earth he would create the universe. You know, because it doesn't make any sense from the Christian point of view to make the universe. It's a contradiction to all the purported uh, powers that he has, omnipotence, omniscience, uh, and omnipresence, and all this other stuff. It doesn't make sense to make a universe because by making something, it implies that you need something because you, for whatever reason, you can't provide it for yourself. You need to make something in order to provide uh, whatever it is, comfort, satisfaction, the love of mankind, because you don't have it on your own, which is a limitation of your power. So sometimes they will posit that God would be bored. He just did it out of boredom for his own amusement. Once there was this dumb girl who was telling me she, she believed in God because she wanted, she felt comforted knowing that everything happened for a reason. And then I asked her, well, why do, why do people have, like, uh, why, why doesn't, why doesn't everything be good? I asked her. Why isn't everything good? Why are there good and bad things? And she said, well, he gave us free will. I asked, why did he give us free will? And then she said, maybe reality life is a big reality TV show for him. Maybe he was bored and he gets entertainment from this. So I found it funny because she gets comfort knowing things, everything happens for a reason. But she herself said that the reason why God gave us free will is because he, he is bored. In other words, he derives sadistic pleasure from knowing that people are suffering, right? That's why we watch all these stupid dramas, drama on reality TV and drama on television and any, or movies or whatever, because we enjoy conflict, because we are sadistic animals. But that's one issue. The main issue I want to conf confront here is boredom, which by itself doesn't make any sense. Um, usually human beings like to project human emotions or human feelings onto other things and to say, well, since we experience boredom, then maybe a god could experience it as well. Maybe we think that with intelligence, uh, if, you're, if you're not stimulated, stimulating your mind enough, you become bored. Well, why on earth do we become bored in the first place? The reason is because of evolution. You've got to understand that the human body tries to conserve energy no matter what. So whenever you're not exercising an organ, it will begin to decay and suffer from atrophy. Because the body is trying to conserve energy. You might be asking, well, why is it trying to conserve energy so badly? Probably has to do with our uh, history. The history of mankind probably went through entire uh, uh, time periods where we were faced with starvation. So the, the, the body evolved so that it would conserve energy at all costs. So whenever an organ is not being stimulated, and that includes your muscles, your skin, and your internal organs, whenever, it's not, whenever any organs are not being stimulated, uh, it will cease to maintain it and cease to spend energy on maintaining it and keeping it healthy. And the same is true for your brain. If you're not stimulating your brain, with uh, knowledge, with uh, thinking, and all this other stuff, it will, in fact, begin to decay. Uh, there have been studies that show that um, people with Alzheimer's, like, you can prevent Alzheimer's disease by keeping your mind stimulated all the time. These mental diseases, there's a correlation between how much you're stimulating your mind and uh, whether or not you will get Alzheimer's. If you're stimulating, you're always thinking, you're always reading and, 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 and learning, then you're less likely to suffer from these mental diseases. So what is boredom then? Boredom is actually a self-defense mechanism to, to uh, keep us thinking, to, to, stop, um, to keep us out of our, 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 our lethargy, our sloth, you know, and, and get us, encourage us to think, to prevent atrophy to the brain, to prevent it from decaying. That is why we get bored. It's an evolutionary mechanism. So, why on earth would a god have this? That implies that a god has the same kind of defects that we humans do. That it needs to have this defense mechanism, this boredom, to keep, it, to keep its mind stimulated to prevent it from decaying. 
We have that. It makes sense for human beings. It does not make sense for God. So always be careful when you're projecting certain types of characteristics that human beings have to something that is supposed to be all powerful and all um, and, and all thinking and all benevolent and all this other nonsense. It doesn't make sense for a God to have those kinds of traits. Similarly, I, I don't think it makes much sense for a computer to have those traits. People always wonder, you know, what happens if we make a super intelligent computer? Could it become bored and start playing with nuclear weapons? Well, I, I think it, it really doesn't make a lot of sense for the same exact reasons. But, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Post in the comment section. This is Enigma Hood, signing off.